I would like to very quickly bring up uh, some of the, if there are no other questions from the board, Mr. Chair, uh, bring up some of our presenters. Daniel Bloomberg, who sits on the council with us from Public Works, would like to make a brief presentation on the feasibility of battery powered turf management equipment. May I ask a question about that? Yeah, sure. That was one of the two questions I had, Sean. Is it going to be replacement as the, as the equipment ends the life of their life? We replace it with battery operated um, maintenance. That is definitely part of any of these pilot programs uh, to collect data and see what the overall viability of the of the equipment is and uh, see if it's scalable to do larger things. So we're bringing these things back to, to you in incremental levels. So this is a first step. This is a pilot project to see how well the equipment performs. And Daniel's here to give you a little more information on it, sir. But my question is, as we go forward, if, if it looks like it's something we want to pursue, it's not going to take perfectly good equipment and replace it with a, the, the life cycle analysis will be taken in fact I don't think the intention is to, to throw out perfectly good equipment I don't think we do that with any of the equipment we currently manage right. within fleet right now we use it to uh, to a certain point in its its life cycle when it's when it's cost prohibitive to keep maintaining it and then uh, right. it's surplus right as it dies it's as replaced it with this and this is this is what is as essentially I believe we had a, a lawnmower and a, a, a system that had uh, was on its last legs mm -hmm. and uh, we took this opportunity to say let's let's see if this has uh, some uh, additional benefits to okay. us thank you Good morning commissioners my name is Daniel Blumberg just to quickly address that the small engine equipment typically turns around in about five years so the equipment at that point is usually phased out and processed for new equipment. So I'd like to tell you about the battery powered turf management equipment pilot program. The current push mowers, and these are some of the pieces that we're talking about potentially replacing, used by facilities emit the same particulate pollution per hour as 11 modern cars driving at 45 miles per hour. And due to when those mowers were made, nearly 30% of their fuel use is emitted unburned. This issue affects all small engine equipment produced prior to 1997. The EPA has shown with animal studies that aerosolized gasoline causes cancer in animals. The same studies show an increased risk of cancer in people. Reducing the public and our employees' exposure to avoidable carcinogens is something that must be done. Seed money has been provided by the Sustainability Program to purchase the battery-powered push mower and weed eater to determine their effectiveness and functionality. Parks has agreed to host the equipment and make it available to any departments requesting it. The benefit of the battery-powered equipment is a reduction of pollution leading to an improved environment. Users of the equipment will be encouraged to charge the batteries while driving their vehicles between work sites to minimize electricity drawn from the grid. Potentially, a solar-powered charging solution will be available for charging the equipment in the future. Employees will be asked to report on the functionality, ease of use, noise level, and any other applicable comments. At the end of the growing season, the information will be correlated into a report as to the effectiveness of the equipment and whether more such pieces of equipment should be phased in as gas-powered equipment is retired. And that will be at the end of the life cycles. Thank you. Uh, next item will be